idyllic rural lifestyles within a short drive of Perth. Now all that is left of these properties in Wooraloo and Gidgee Ganup are piles of twisted metal, burnt paddocks and charred bush. We know that 71 homes have been lost. That number is expected to rise. To all those who have been impacted by the fires, can I say, every single Western Australian is thinking of you today. <laughs> Pamela Wheeler-Hart has lost her Gidgee-Ganup home. Her husband, Nathaniel, a firefighter, is still out battling the blaze. What have you lost? No, oh, everything. We've got a cat. But it's all this little that my wedding dress. It sounds so silly. Three evacuation centres have been set up for the hundreds of people forced to flee to safety. There's people in worse situations than us that have already lost our home, but it's just... I don't know, I've never been through anything like this before and it's just, it's just really overwhelming. Philip Freeman and his young family were among those who grabbed what they could from their outer suburban properties as the fire approached. I would like to say that there's so many nice people out there. Uh, <laughs> um, there's been so many helpful people. We went to bed at about 10.30 and we were completely clear and within a couple of hours we had um, a message from DFES, phones were ringing, neighbours knocking on doors, it was all yeah. pretty quick. Many roads surrounding the fire ground have been closed, causing anxiety for those wanting to care for livestock. People just want to get back in, there's people that are coming out literally just to get diesel for their generators to keep their tanks going for their stock and everything and they're not allowed back in. While temperatures are expected to drop below 30 degrees tomorrow, authorities are preparing for another few days of difficult wind conditions which could further stretch firefighters. That northwest corner of the fire is uh, extremely difficult to control in incredibly steep terrain. Uh, we're un unable to get earth moving equipment in there. 300 firefighters are currently fighting the blaze. A large air tanker has also arrived from New South Wales to help from air. The federal government has announced financial support for those whose homes have been lost or damaged. Brianna Shepherd, ABC News, Perth.